Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel. Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your January 2023 New Love Singles reading. If you are single and looking for love or if you just made that initial connection with somebody and you're trying to figure out what kind of energy is surrounding you, then this is the reading for you guys. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to you. If you're returning, welcome back. As always, I am super grateful for each and every one of you. So we do have Mercury Retrograde right up until January 18th. And this is in your sign, Capricorn. So the beginning of the month, the first half of January may feel a little bit slow and sluggish. And it's not necessarily a bad thing because it's a time to think and reflect and it's a time to kind of take a step back and assess your approach to love or assess and think about what is really important to you. What are you looking for out of a relationship? Are you looking for a relationship? Are you looking for just a connection where you've got all of the um camaraderie the physical connection a little bit of emotional connection but maybe not like a huge like commitment right not making a mountain out of a molehill so you know whatever it is that you're looking for out of love and out of relationships um you know this is a great time to think about that's also a great time to think about um how you find love right where you uh where you go to meet people okay so you might be thinking of taking a different approach to things there so it's a little bit more of a reflective energy in the first part of the month but the second part we do have aquarian energy coming in with the new moon in Aquarius on the 21st of January. So this can certainly represent a turning point for a lot of people because this is where we're pushing boundaries. It's where we're getting out of our comfort zone. And this is where we have very much of an open mind. We're a little bit more innovative. We're more likely to go out and meet people or do things that make us a little bit more uncomfortable and not uncomfortable in like a fearful or scary way. Just like, oh, okay, I just don't, uh, I never wanted to go this way or meet the people like this, but hey, okay, let's give it a whirl, right? So in a little bit more of an open mind. All right, it's also a great time for manifestation, but for, but for the first part of January, we are figuring things out. Okay, we do have chaos and conflict coming in. So some of you may be feeling a little bit conflicted about love. And, you know, um, you may be in that energy where one day you really want new love. And the next day you're like, man, you know what? I think I'm good. I think I like not having someone, um, you know, tell me what to do. Or, you know, uh, I come home and if I leave the dishes in the sink in the morning, they're still there when they come home in the evening. So, you know, but then there's other times where you miss the, you miss the closeness. You miss that connection. You miss that support that, um, you know, someone may bring into, the, into your life. So there just may be that little bit of conflicting energy within you that flip floppy back and forth yes and no yes and no so the beginning of the month is really a great time to get that sorted out okay and to figure out and to really kind of say no this is what this is what I want and this is why right um because when we when we um attach um understanding to things we have more impact okay there may also I have to say there may also just be a shift in energy that's around you with chaos and conflict right you're ending entering a new cycle this is your new solar new year and when we are embarking on a new cycle a new year a new journey forward we sometimes feel a little bit uncertain or we feel that little bit of oof, uh, like we don't have quite our feet on the ground in that energy right because it does feel a little bit chaotic because we're experiencing this big shift so it's important to ground your energy but again um, with this retrograde and we also have a full moon of course in cancer so emotional emotional um, on the 6th of January it's a great time to really kind of see where you're confused or where you're a little bit conflicted in love, where you have resistance um, in regards to letting love in, okay, um, recognizing the difference between boundaries and walls, and this is where you sort some things out. Now, I have to say there as well that there may also, because retrograde is, I'm so sorry, because retrograde is here till the 18th, and of course, we've got a full moon. Now, this can just bring surprising energy, but both of those energies can sometimes bring people back, and not always in a bad way. 
Okay. Um, yes, there could po certainly possibly be someone that comes back around, sniffing around, causing a little bit of chaos in your world. Okay. This can certainly be a time to where you really feel more empowered and you stand your ground. You put up those boundaries and you are not letting anything pass that you don't want. But the retrograde energy with the full moon can also bring in a second chance for things you do want those connections that didn't get off the ground. Okay. Those, you know, those things where, you know, maybe you had an interest in somebody and all of a sudden they disappeared or, you know, so we can have second chances on those kind of things. Doesn't have to be an ex. You may have an old friend come back in your life. Okay. All sorts of this return stuff can happen um, in this retrograde energy. So um, just be a little bit aware of that because this can really kind of turn your life around because the chaos energy doesn't have to be a negative thing. It can just be things that turn your world upside down and sometimes in a really good way. But we do have building blocks coming in here. And this is really spirit reminding you in this energy to take things one day at a time. To don't rush into new love. It does take time for love to manifest and those connections to manifest in your world. Because even though you might be ready on some level, another person also has to be ready. Okay. Also trust um, that anything that you've experienced in regards to love and relationships in the past is all part of building that foundation within. Okay. And, you know, if you hadn't experienced things that didn't work out, then when something really positive happens, you wouldn't recognize it. All right. So you're, you're wiser. You've experienced some things in your life. Okay. And you've got a lot of wisdom. You've got a good, strong, solid foundation. And Spirit's asking you to trust that. Okay. To think about what it is you want, but also kind of be patient and try not to push the envelope too, too much. Okay. And, um, you know, certainly take some steps, certainly put yourself out there a little bit. Okay. But don't rush into anything in this particular energy, but we do have thinker coming out here too. So when we are in the thinker energy, we're contemplative. So again, um, a good chunk of January for some of you, uh, right up until we hit that uh, Aquarian energy on the 20th, actually, is when um, Aquarian energy starts, the new moon in Aquarius on the 21st. This is a very introspective time for you. You're focusing on you, your wants, your needs, okay? What you, you know, what are you willing to put up with? What will you not put up with in a relationship, right? Because you've learned a lot of things on your journey. So the thinker energy is that, you know, asking the questions why you usually of yourself, right? Gaining um, understanding, right? Thinking about the past and where you want to go on the future. All right. So this is very contemplative kind of energy, very down to earth. Okay. So remember to get grounded, um, ground your energy. Okay. Um, but I do think here that there is like, thank you. There is like a, a calm energy before, um, you know, things start to shift a little bit. So I think that really big turning point will be that Aquarian energy that is coming in. All right. Um, now we do have actually two master numbers out here. The chaos and conflict is number 33 master teacher number. So there might be some life lessons that you have learned or yet you are learning. You're gaining insights and wisdom. Okay. We also have the thinker energy is card 44. Now fours, threes represent creation the basis of manifestation. So you might be getting a little bit of more inspiration there in that energy. Okay. Or your things are shifting around for you. Things are aligning for you so that they can bring this positive change in regards to love into your life. But the thinker energy 44, um, depending on your circle, it may or may not be a master number. However, fours represent stability, security, and a good solid foundation in your world. Okay. Especially in your home and your career. So that might be your focus at the beginning of the month, okay, before you free up some time and free up some energy to find love. But fours do bring about stability and security in your world. So you got number 33 and number 44. Let's see what else we've got new love, okay? A new person has stirred your romantic feelings for some of you. You've already met somebody and you're feeling a little bit of attraction there. Maybe you have actually connected with them in the outside world, okay? Or maybe you've just connected with them like online or something, all right. And, you know, so this has the potential you may have been, you may be feeling kind of the warm and fuzzies. And this is something that you may be exploring. And then that's, we got that thinker energy, right? Thinking about, you know, your experiences with this person so far, and do you want to continue um, this connection? Okay, but it can possibly blossom into love.
okay, rather than just that initial spark. But for others of you here, there is new love on the horizon for you. For some of you, it'll happen sooner rather than later. For some of you, it may actually um, come out of nowhere come out of the blue, especially with this chaos and conflict, okay, and uh, sometimes when things happen by surprise, okay, they do kind of like, whew, they do kind of like throw our world upside down. The new love energy can also represent that that is your focus, and that even if anyone does come back into your life, because let's face it, exes sometimes return um, in the Mercury retrograde energy. Um, but this, this shows that you are focused on new love. You're not interested in anyone coming back from the past. And if they do come back from the past, you may or may not entertain what they have to say, because it could actually give you a little bit of closure and um, allow you to move forward from something. But I feel here that you are probably going to shut them down. <clears throat> We also have past life relationship. You've known each other before. So, uh, wow. So again, um, Mercury retrograde, things returning. However, in this energy, this is not a this lifetime relationship, okay? This represents, um, you know, something, fr someone from a past life. So a soulmate, a twin flame, that kind of thing coming in. You may have met this person already, especially if you felt just certain things click right into place and you're like, whoa, this is insane, okay? And that does create a little bit of, of you know, chaotic kind of energy, um, you know, when we do have a twin flame coming in, right? Because there's only one and if everyone is in alignment, if everyone's done their healing and their spiritual growth, it is a connection like no other. And it certainly does turn your world upside down. Okay. But this can also represent those soulmates that come in as well, right? You know each other from somewhere else. And you may have, when you meet this person, you may just really get this impression that I know you already, or you've just got this sense that you've been here before, maybe a little bit of deja vu or something may come in there for you. So past life relationship with the new love. And we have stay optimistic about your love life as well. Okay. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance and spirit really does encourage you um, to do that. Just like that building blocks energy, right? Take things one day at a time. Don't rush things. Okay. Stay optimistic because even if you don't, um, you know, can make that connection in the month of January, there is new love out there for you. And again, some of you need to be a little bit patient. This is also spirit telling some of you that you need to really harness that um, new moon and Aquarius energy, okay, to really expand your horizons and really attract some something very wonderful in your life. And you know what, dream big and think big when we get that Aquarian energy, okay, um, because you know, you just never know, okay, so keep that open mind and stay optimistic. All right, we've got the mountain, we've got the ship, let's look at that for a second, and we've got the book. Okay, so <laughs> the mountain can certainly represent that very slow period, okay, right about now the rent, the mountain can represent obstacles and challenges, okay, and something that we need to overcome, something that we need to um, deal with, experience, and we need to find our way past, okay, this slows things down a little bit, makes things a little bit more difficult, and this can certainly be that um, energy that we're in, in the beginning part of January. The mountain can also bring back, you know, the traditional, so the Norman deck, so the original, um, you know, the original interpretations is a mighty enemy, okay, and so that would probably be for those of you you who may have some sort of an ex sniffing back around on some level, okay, you may even accidentally bump into them, okay, that kind of thing. So it's something that you need to deal with, something that blocks your path, stands in your way, and you need to figure it out, okay. So, but again, it can just be this slower energy that, you know, just kind of, you know, um, really kind of just kind of feel, makes you feel as though you're kind of stopped in your tracks a little bit and that there's nothing happening. But once that mountain energy passes, is we get the ship and the ship can certainly represent forward movement okay the ship can represent you moving forward from something that has been resisting causing resistance in your world or something that's been blocking you because this mountain can also be that back and forth energy right that little bit of internal conflict 
and you know like one day you want love and the next day no thank you um you know or you have a friend that goes you know that has issues with their significant other or something and you're like you know see this is why I'm single even though I want love and that connection this is why okay so but I think once you get past that this is where things really do kind of start to take shape for you and there's forward momentum here with this ship okay um the ship can also represent someone coming towards you possibly okay and i mean number one if that is someone coming to you these two together is probably someone from your past okay and it can also represent you know that person coming back but it can also represent someone that you haven't been able to get over now this is not necessarily someone that you've dated Okay, this can represent a person coming in that is from that past life. You've never been able to get over them. You've got unfinished business together. Okay, and this could certainly be this lifetime where everything falls into place for you. This can also represent, um, you know, perhaps again, that a connection that you may have made with somebody, um, whether it's an old friend, maybe you had a, a close connection with um, an old coworker, or maybe someone that you, you know, you felt a little bit of a connection, whether you had your eye on and then they disappeared. Okay. Okay. So this person, and for some reason you haven't been able to get over this energy, you can still, you know, you still think about them and it may have been up to a couple of years, maybe even as long as three, it could have been something like from before the pandemic actually, or right around the start of the pandemic. And it's like, man, that never got off the ground, but for some reason there's still, you're still thinking about them. So you just never know. You may, um, you may bump into them again, maybe in, in a weird place. Uh, you could actually travel to the mountains, maybe you go skiing or something like that. And uh, you just could run into them in just the oddest of places. Okay, but the shift can also represent travel. So perhaps some of you are going on vacation and you never know, you might meet somebody when you're on vacation if you want a road trip or you go somewhere um, that involves uh, some sort of boat. Okay, or you may actually take a trip up to the mountains somewhere, right? Go on a little skiing vacation or a getaway somewhere in there. And number one, it can certainly just be just what the doctor ordered, a little getaway to rejuvenate your energy and to recharge your batteries so that you know when you come back you're ready for the second half of January okay but this can also be where you put potentially do meet somebody but it's unknown right now because we do have the book when we have the book you are either unlocking some information you are making some um you know um going within and figuring out what it is you want Okay, or there may be a little bit of a surprise when we do have the book. This can certainly be something that is revealed to you, some sort of um, information that comes your way or something that you discover. But right now, it's a little bit hidden. So you may get a little bit of a surprise. Okay, we've got the page of earth. Thank you. The messenger of fire and the four of earth coming in there. The Ace of Earth, look at that, beautiful, beautiful. The Aces always bring in some luck and always bring in new and improved things, especially that Ace of Earth, which is the Ace of Pentacles, things manifesting in your world. The Five of Water, right? Things are turning around, woo, thank you, for you. And uh, I think there's a chance to revive something here in that energy. Thank you. I'm gonna one more for that. There we go. Okay, so we've got cards flying all over the place here. So we've got the Three of Water. Ooh, where are we? The Queen of Fire and the Messenger of Earth. Okay, so we'll go over here first. All right, we've got the Page of Earth. Page of Earth, you might be focused on your home, on your career, okay, things in your material world. But the Page of Earth can also represent your quest for some knowledge or for some information. Try to figure things out so that you can move forward and you find the information, you figure things out um, that you are looking for. So you discover something here in this energy. But the Page of Earth can also represent someone coming in or something new okay that it does occur okay but the pages can bring about good news um, but they can also bring back somebody who is a little bit immature so again with that mountain 
Um, this can be that, you know, you are, first of all, that you are manifesting something in. It's trying to come in here, but there's a delay. So spirit showing you here that your manifestations are working. Let's keep your sights, um, keep your sights set on what it is that you want to create and build the new love. Okay. But trust in your process and trust in your journey. It takes time in the earth energy. It takes time for things to materialize, right? Because things are manifesting in your world. So it does take time. Okay. But this can also represent again in this energy someone may come back again probably someone where you're like uh-uh go away okay and this is someone who they want something okay but maybe they haven't matured right and you know this could be possibly why something didn't work out anyway they're not willing to commit for the long term and they have this sense of immaturity okay and that while that little childlike qualities may sometimes be enduring uh, or endearing I should say in a relationship if you're looking for long-term commitment and things that is not so much okay so they may not have grown up or anything like that but they may have some sort of an offer um, for you okay something that you want but again feeling more that you may shut them down all right, but the page of earth can certainly also be you just, you know, manifesting things away, moving forward, focusing on your home, your career, taking things, you know, um, taking things a little bit slow. Okay, we do have the messenger of fire and the messenger of fire is the knight of wands. Okay, so coupled with that page of earth, um, you know, again, this could possibly be that person coming in um, because that knight of wands energy, um, <laughs> right? We all know about the nine of wands energy as as far as love goes right a little bit of a player energy okay so again that player energy with that childishness there okay yeah they want something they want something from you but they don't have much to give in return okay and they typically don't stick around okay they may say what you want to hear but you might not believe them in this energy okay we also do have that messenger of fire can certainly show that you know you're ready to move forward you're ready to um, take action to find love okay but you're also taking your time the four of earth right brings in stability and security those building blocks but again it's you know shows that you might be a little bit protective about yourself okay it's like I'm excited on one end but I'm also a little bit closed off and protected so again that might be something that you need to work through um, before you can get past that mountain energy the four of earth does bring about your focus on your material world um and so you know it, especially at the beginning of the month, right? We're embracing your Capricorn energy. You might just be looking out for numero uno. Okay. You're getting things done. You're feeling like you're, you know, you've got, um, um, accomplish some goals. Okay. And then once you accomplish what you are working on at the moment and you feel like you have something to offer or you feel secure in your own energy and your own environment and your circumstances, then you're ready to move forward um, in leaps and bounds. Okay. But the four of earth can certainly show okay, that there might be this closed off energy. So again, just like this mountain there, there's some resistance there and a need to put down some walls perhaps because that mountain is a big wall. Okay, not just a boundary, a wall. And of course, we all know boundaries let the good in and keep the bad out, but walls, there's no way, and there's no way uh, the wall keeps everything out. Okay, the good, the bad, everything. And, you know, think back to Humpty Dumpty. The only way to get over that wall was to fall off it, right? And we don't want to do that. So there might be something here where you do need to go within and figure out where you can put down a little bit of walls and resistance, all right? We do have the Five of Water here and the Ace of Earth. And, of course, we've got that ship moving forward. So the Five of Water can represent... Um, you know, that there's been something difficult, something challenging, okay? And there's been some disappointments in your quest for love, but there's a turning point here. Things are about to shift in this energy. Instead of being focused on what you don't want or what you don't have, you're going to turn things around and focus on how to attract love or what you do want out of love. And then you're committed to your journey. This shows that there has been some obstacles and challenges, but it does also show your ability to overcome and look at the positive, move forward, pass this energy and when you do that 
got the ace of earth okay manifesting something into your physical world here this is a little bit of luck this is that turning point for you and this shows your potential okay so you know i think spirit's also saying here that you know some of you do need to be a little bit patient right because again there's something here that you need to work through or some clarity that you maybe need Okay, and once you figure that out, boom, off to the races you go. But the aces do bring in new. They also bring in um, a little bit of luck, right? Also improvements in your world too. Um, I think here that some of you with the page of earth, the four of earth, uh, the messenger of fire and the ace of earth, again, um, you might be very focused on your money, your career, your home environment as well. And um, not only are you trying to figure out what you're what you want out of love, but I think here you might be looking for a new home or a new job because this um, this ship does represent movement. OK, and, you know, with all of this earth energy, you might just be focused on you. Um, your goals and dreams and you need to accomplish something before you let someone in but I do feel that there's like a new career a new job or maybe there's a promotion you've been working towards or a project that you're trying to get done okay and once you wrap all those things up then we're ready to move forward all right We've got the three of water, so we've got some good news. So whatever is being revealed with the book does bring a cause for celebration, okay? So you might get some really good news. Um, the three of water also does bring in the energy of being engaged in your social environment, hanging out with your friends, going out and having fun, meeting people, and living your best life. So it just can also be that you have a deep inner knowing here, um, especially with this book showing up, that something is shifting in your world and you're trusting the process there with that energy. Because the queen of fire, the queen of fire, you are confident, you are strong, you are bold, you are brave, and all eyes are on you. This is where you attract all kinds of interesting people into your world okay but you're living your best life you're having fun okay and you are really enjoying um, where you're at okay we've got the messenger of earth there as well so it may be that you are celebrating um, your milestone in, re in regards to your money your career or where you live okay and this is you getting together with you know your friends and clinking a glass and you know saying yes you've made it okay but this can also represent with the messenger of earth okay that there is growth right we start with the page of earth we get the ace we get something new and then we get the messenger of earth which is the knight of pentacles so again slow and steady wins the race and you may be meeting new people in the month of january okay but you're taking things easy with this energy because you are cool as a cucumber here um in this and you know even though you're excited right you're not rushing into anything in that you're taking those things one day at a time okay but the queen of fire can certainly it's um can certainly represent possibly somebody in your world where um they may give you some advice or a helping hand in some way okay um maybe someone that gets you out of your shell a little bit there Capricorn okay and someone it's like a best friend kind of energy right think of your best friend um someone who you know can lift you up when you're down and can give you one hell of a talking to um to get you moving and shaken so that might be too might be there too but we do have movement and growth and progress in your reading here as well the page of earth and we end up with the messenger of earth so the page to the knight we've got the messenger of fire the knight of wands all the way up to the queen of wands okay so you know again for some of you here there might be somebody um that you know or that you have known at some point and they may come back around if they are someone that you haven't dated you're probably going to welcome them in with open arms because it's exciting okay but with this fiery energy and this earth energy here this past life energy that's up here as well we've got something hidden um <laughs> soulmate twin flame right you're connected on a very you'd feel the chemistry 
right away. You feel the passion, you feel the fire, right? We got the flame energy, right? So, you know, you certainly may have, you're attracting in a soulmate or a twin flame for some of you. This is materializing and coming to life in January. Okay, for others of you, this is where you're setting your intentions. A really great um, positive vibe there for you to attract those kinds of connections in. But wherever you're at, remember, stay optimistic. Okay, we it's very easy, especially if we've been single for a while and we really want those connections. It's very easy to fall into um, the energy of being negative um, or being obsessed um, over finding love, right? And when we when we have those energies, or we rail at the fates. Uh, you know, I'm never going to find anyone. I'm I'm, I'm always going to be alone. The problem is, is that we're creating more mountains in our path when we do that, and it's an easy thing to fall into, right? Because you know you want to um, have love in your life, right? You want to have that companion um, in your world, and it can certainly be frustrating right? When you're not finding it as fast as you want it to, right? Because in our human experience, we want everything here and now, instant gratification. And in the eyes of the universe, right? You know, six months or a year of our time is a blink of an eye. It is fast, but to us, it's not. So it's easy to get, to, it's easy to get discouraged on your journey. We have relationship patterns. Okay. It takes strength to recognize the need for change. So some of you here, this is something that you're working through with that mountain. Okay, what kind of patterns and behaviors do you embody within a relationship, right? There's something that you might be recognizing something, um, getting a little bit of a revelation in that, doing a little bit of soul searching, a little bit of healing and uh, personal growth. Okay, when we, you know, stop something in our tracks, no, I'm not going to keep doing that in a relationship. I'm That's not the kind of people that I want anymore, right? So you may just be really figuring things about things out for yourself there we also have love who you are you are divine delightful and deserving of the wonderful things life has to offer yes you absolutely are love yourself first and again at the beginning of the month they do feel there's very much a focus on you your personal needs your personal wants and you're taking care of you okay and when you love yourself first you attract more love into your life we have take a chance on love, okay? When we love, our lives are changed forever. Yes, they are, okay? We've got this ship, this boat going through that doorway, going through that portal, and we already have a ship coming out in your reading here as well. So there is forward movement, okay? There is some things happening, whether it's um, right in your material world or behind the scenes. Take a chance on love, okay? Open your heart, put down those walls, okay? Keep some boundaries because those are healthy, and those help us prevent repeating patterns and cycles, okay? But put down the wall and choose love. And we've got new love coming in here for a second time, okay? Embrace an opportunity for love in your work prospects or for spiritual growth, okay? So number one, some of you are working on your money, your finance, your career, but new love coming in on a deeper level than that as well, all right? And you know, so uh, repeating messages of the new, and of course, we've got that ace of pentacles. We've got some exciting energy coming in here for you. So again, we're feeling this shift that is coming in and it brings in some excitement for you. All right, so we'll leave that on that new love energy. So I, I hope there was something here that resonated with you. And uh, if so, please hit like on this video and subscribe to my channel. I thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.